Good morning everyone. Here's a tour of a Thai American jewellery manufacturing uh, facility in a place called Gemopolis in Bangkok. So there's 400 square meters to this facility. It begins in this corner and carries on down to that third door. Just down there. Let's take a look inside. As we go in, um, we're greeted by the accounting department. Hello everyone. Hello. And here we have a safety officer and in here we have our HR manager. Hello. And currently this is where the boss sits. Let's keep touring. In here we've got a casting facility. So we've got four ovens two casting machines this is where the trees are prepared so wax injection resins good morning see it a bit further. Here we've got the precious metal stock room. Tools. Here are jobs for casting. These are all to be cast in 18 karat super white gold. Super white gold, why do we call it super white gold? Good question. It's alloyed with palladium and the result is a very nice white looking metal as opposed to uh, uh, a tinged yellow metal. So the export department, I think, how many exports do you have today? How many exports today? Yeah. Huh? How many exports do you have to do today? There's one to America, yeah. one to France, um, one to Singapore, any to Australia? No. So it's only three today? Yeah. Okay, good luck. Over here we've got the setting department. Everybody's using microscopes. It's nice and bright in here. It's kind of like being in Koh Samui or Phuket on a lovely sunny day. In here we have diamonds and gemstones. So every job that requires setting will go through there. So in this case we can see that we require black diamonds, round, size 2.8 millimeter. We've made a selection already of, eight, of six pieces and the total carat weight is 0 0.675 carat. This is where we have the control, production control for the setting department. And over here we've got quality control for setting and for the 3D prints which I'll discuss in a minute. This is quality control for finished goods and um, polishing. Let's take a closer look. And even closer look. That's a ring for Singapore going out today, this middle one. Over here we've got the bench working department. So after the casting, things will come in here for cleaning, the initial cleaning.
Continue out of here, and this is more production control. Each plastic bag contains jobs, and you can see most orders because we do custom made jewelry, so most orders are single piece made to order according to the requirements of the customer. Finished, ready to ship. In this room, we have our laser welding, and we're getting a, a, another laser inscription uh, machine, which will be in that corner. That's coming next week. Behind that room, we've got a rhodium plating. So white gold uh, obviously gold is yellow um, we mix it with certain alloys to make it white or as white as we can like I say the super white gold is mixed with palladium and then there's rhodium plating which is a coating and rhodium in itself is a metal so you coat the item in in rhodium it's almost like painting it that does come off over a period of time with wear and tear so it's nice when it's the super white gold and you get a white metal that's underneath and not a tinged yellow. This station here is a repair station, an assembly. Just behind that room is a polishing room. Okay. This young man is stringing a piece. Say in the end, but then go do. May I? May I? May I? Come on. showing you now the technique and this is basically for polishing inside the setting. Let's take a close look. There you go. So that's cleaning inside areas that usually would be very difficult to reach. Not many not many manufacturers will do this. But over here we work on high end goods. No matter what the what the volume of the order, what the metal that's being used, even if it's a silver order, um, we make it the best that it can be made. We have over six hundred jobs, six hundred orders in a week to manage and ship out without any issues. Let's take a look back in here. What we'll do now is we'll take a look outside the facility, see the building, see the neighborhood, and go to our second facility, which has uh, the CAD design and uh, 3D printing. Um, we had to separate as we've grown 
we needed more room for the production, so we moved out the design element of the business to another facility, and um, and it's it's interesting. So we'll go there next and take a look. Here we are on the outside. You can see it's a quite a large building. I'm not too sure how many factories are inside, but all units are, are taken up. There's another unit just down there. And if we take a look around us, every building here, let's zoom in. So every building is a jewelry factory. This one, Tienpo. And there's some very big names over here, including Pandora. Let's go take a look at the Pandora. Whilst we're walking towards Pandora, I'll give some context as to this um, neighborhood. This is actually an industrial estate that's specifically for jewelry manufacturing. There are approximately 25,000 uh, workers in this industrial estate and Pandora is quite a well-known company, Tektai, and Pandora have about half of that workforce. So around 14,000 workers are with Pandora. That's a mega factory. This is also a very famous uh, manufacturer. Tienpo again. So you've got the CKC building in front of us. And then Pandora over here. Pandora down there, Pandora over there, Pandora behind that over there. Apart from the CKC building, Pandora have the entire row. There we go. Very impressive. The traffic in the morning is not impressive. In fact, I could do without the traffic in the morning. There's only two entrances to this industrial estate. So 20, 25,000 workers all flowing in at a similar time. It's quite tough. This is an impressive looking building. Again, Pandora. I'm on the same road. I've just walked further down. Very, very impressive. This is still Pandora. The building down there at the end is Pandora. This very large building here is also Pandora. So you get the picture. It's a big industrial estate and there's some big names over here. Uh, but the best name of all is Casting House Thailand. I'll take you now to um, our 3D design and 3D, uh, uh, 3D printing facility and show you how that looks. At our other facility. Good morning, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Let's see what you're making. Hello. Hello. So she's making what's called a shadow band. So it's a fitted wedding ring or a fitted uh, eternity ring. That's a scan of the client's existing engagement ring. There's another job for 
the same sort of a thing. So you've got the client engagement ring and we're making a shadow band. So this is one of the CAD rooms. We've got another CAD room upstairs with three more people. And over here, another CAD designer, but he's taking care of CAD designs that are then going into the 3D printing. And this is the 3D printing, one of the 3D printing rooms that we have. These machines are called SolidScape. They print a wax. Quite a noisy room. There we go. It's me in the corner there. And this is a, a big boy. On this we can print as many as a hundred pieces in one time. Whereas on these we tend to print um, just a few in one time. This is quite slow but fantastic quality. And like I say we have another room for 3D printing. There we go, right in front of us. Let's take a look. These machines are a Sega. They print resins. And you can see how jobs are being divided according to what they're being printed on. CPX, a Sega, Solidscape, and Boss. I don't know why I have my own tray. Okay, yeah. This is where the prints are processed. This is basically taking off what's called a support material and it leaves you then with just the build material and it's the build material then that we use for the casting. Which to explain casting I think you should just take a look at other YouTube videos. I might do one in the future to show the process of how a 3D print is turned into a, a metal form. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna show you upstairs. Upstairs we've got the customer care. They're gonna have a lot of um, documents laid around with sensitive information as to client names and things like that. So I won't take you there. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this brief insight into a jewelry manufacturing facility. And uh, I, I will make another video in the, in the near future, maybe to follow a specific job um, and all the phases of production that it goes through and how it gets transformed. I think that would be quite interesting. If you have any questions, feel free to leave messages. I, I will reply. Thank you.